Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching Better Call Saul. And we are on, we, not starting off the day good. <laughs> we are on season three, episode eight. And uh, this one is called Slip. So if you have not watched last episode with me, please click right here, my friend, and go do so before you watch this one. Um, yeah, just go do that. Then please come back and watch this one with me. I would love to have you join me on my journey at Better Call Saul. Grab your coffee. I got my Dunkin' today. Delicious Dunkin'. Um, grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your water, grab your snacks if you're gonna have snacks. And let's get to Better Call Saul, season three, episode eight. I cannot believe that we are only two episodes away after this one of uh, finishing season three. That, that's crazy. That is crazy. All right. And as always, my friends, if you want to watch these with me in full, unedited, um, and get them sooner than YouTube, then go check out my Patreon below. I'd love to have you. Alrighty, let's get started. Well, okay. That was loud. Oh, we're in the past. Let there be light. That's Jimmy and um, his friend that passed away. I forgot his name. That's where your mom used to work. Right back there doing the books. Yeah, whatever. Hey, how'd you get up there when you were a kid? A couple of milk crates. What did know? he sneak up there? What is it? All right. <clears throat> Change? No. Boom. Indian head uh, All right, that's worth about three bucks. We polish it up, run the coin three game. Three bucks. Oh, that's right. Them and their coin games. 300, easy. Oh, 300, me like it. <laughs> me like it. Uh-oh, that's not good. 12 or so. I was working the register. It pays with a couple bucks and this. I tell my dad, Pop, this quarter is rare. It's worth four bucks. Barely get the words out of my mouth. He hightails it out of here to give it back. And after that, every day after school, I'm checking the till. You know, something catches my eye, I stick it in the box, put it up there for good luck. That's a crying shame they lost this place. They never should have bought it in the first place. My dad didn't have it in him. Your folks worked so hard. Yeah, they worked hard. They worked a lot of hours for a lot of years for nothing. Not for nothing, though. You know, they had their own business. They accomplished that. They supported two kids. I mean, my grandma and grandpa, they had their own restaurant. And when I was a kid, I loved it. I loved going there. But, you know, now as a when I was a teenager slash adult, like I saw how hard they worked and how incredibly tired they were. <laughs> well, okie dokie. Mikey, Mikey, Mike. So he is, oh man. You know, watching this show makes me miss my home sometimes. Like some days worse than others. Like there's many days where I'm fine with it. And I'm just like, oh, yes, I loved that place. But then there's like days like today where I just, I just really miss New Mexico. Which I know is, to some people, probably watching Breaking Bad and then watching this show, they're like, why would you miss New Mexico? It's different when you grow up there. I don't know. It's like you spend your whole life trying to leave, and then when you leave, well, at least for me, I can't speak for everybody, but I left and just want to go back. 
you know, there's not, it's just nice because there's nobody there. I mean, there's people there. Okay. I'm getting off topic. You know what I mean? It's home. It'll always be home to me. Oh, I've always wanted a metal detector. I know that makes me sound so old, but like, I don't even care. So where I live now, I'm close to a beach and like, I've always thought I should get a metal detector and just like walk the beach, you know, and look for stuff. Dude, do you know how many people like take off their jewelry to go swimming and stuff and lose their stuff? Could probably find some cool things. What is he looking for? That's cool how they did that shot of all of him at the same time. I don't know what he's looking for though. Is he looking for the, like the guns that we saw them bury out in the like middle of nowhere places or something he buried? Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, tribal police. Oh wait. I found a dead body. Off the old post road. Is that the innocent person they killed? He wanted his body to be found? If that was that guy, that's very sweet of him. Man. His guilt. This column oh, he's talking to the doctor. I wonder if Mike expects the police to, like, actually solve the murder or he just wanted his body to be found it's very or both impressive, maybe. Charles. and look at the trend and then soon after i want to get back into court i haven't argued a case in almost three years so that's next i want this house to be full of music i want to have a dinner party <laughs> you know even though chuck like pisses me off sometimes and can be a big asshole i don't wish anything bad on him you know I'm really like, I hope that he does actually overcome his mental illness. I know rushing forward may be tempting, but it's important to give yourself time. <clears throat> You've just begun a journey that could take years. I had an incident, a very public incident, perhaps the worst experience of my life. It was proven to me in public and beyond the shadow of a doubt that there was a battery almost next to my skin for the better part of two hours. And I felt nothing. What if it's all in my head? And if that's true, if it's not real, then what have I done? I mean, it is all in his head, but that doesn't mean it's not real to him. You know what I mean? Because he gets physically ill and Good. physical pain because ready? of it. Just about. I gotta hand it to you. <laughs> so even though it's technically not real, um, the commercial. You know what? he still has they to are. overcome it. <laughs> Excellent. Because to him it is real. I don't know if that made sense. <laughs> Hopefully that made sense. Remind me how much is all this gonna cost? It's exactly what we talked about the other day. These guys again. What what's to stop us from paying the station to just keep running the one we have? That's not what we agreed to. How about that for starters? Did you get a contract, Jimmy? I'm assuming you did. <laughs> it's my commercial, and you can't run it without my permission. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'll play it like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Four hundred fifty dollars is now off the table. Yeah gonna pay you $6,500 for something that we can do ourselves. You got it? Seriously. Seriously. Hit him with the contract, Jimmy. Hit him with the contract. What? Put that camera back up. Roll it. It's not gonna do a damn thing. Don't give me any lip, yeah. okay? Just roll it. Oh, what is he doing? No, if you're gigging a lot. Are you gigging uh, Guys, oh. sorry to interrupt. Just want to make sure there's no wiggle room He's going to make himself fall, isn't he? I knew it. 
Oh, it was a drumstick. It was laying loose in the aisle. Oh, yes, an ambulance. That's a good idea. Oh, no. You guys have liability insurance, right? Blackmail. Oh, what is that? Mm. I don't drink, but those looked good. Fancy, fancy. I got a friend, Billy Gatwood. He's a driller, has a small operation over near Farwell. I told him about the job you're doing for oh, him, so no. I he'd love to talk to you. Yeah, just big sky. Awkward. Sky. Remember, Kim's got her hands full with Utah and Colorado. As far as I'm concerned, she's proven she can feel whatever we throw at her and then some. We first started working together, I promised you Mesa Verde would be my sole focus. And I meant it. Well, sure, but I gotta hey think. Hey there. Of... I thought I saw some familiar faces. Howard. Always a pleasure to see one of our protégés spread her wings and leave the nest. What is she doing? Jasmine. Kim. Uh, hello again. Howard said. <laughs> nice. Sorry to interrupt. I just needed to give Howard something. Oh, is she paying for her, her education? Marie Austin. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good to see all of you. Have a wonderful lunch, Howard. Okay. Kevin, if you want to give me Mr. Gatwood's number, I'd be happy to speak to him. Look, Howard, you were very generous when I left HHM, but it never sat right with me that you covered my law school loans. Seemed to sit right at the time. Put you through law school, mentor you, and then when you leave and stab me in the back, that's my fault? I'm not cashing this. All Jimmy and I did was show the situation for what it is. And if you are hiding that from your clients, well, Howard, that's on you. Yep. It's not her fault. What is this? Oh, okay, we're at Nacho now. Oh boy. He's putting ibuprofen in there? Oh, instead of the actual medication. For some reason, I thought he was going to fill those pills with like a poison or something. Or something that would kill him quickly. But this is smarter. Because he's just going to... Bas he's basically just taking him off his meds. And he's going to let nature run its course, I guess. How long is that going to take, though? He has to be so careful when switching those bottles. Which, it looks like that's what he's practicing now. Good idea. Good idea. Oh, man. Keep practicing, Nacho. You got this. You got this. And what sucks is, like, he kind of has to do it himself. Because even if he wanted to hire somebody who was really good at that, he runs the risk of them talking. And, even, and like, if he hired Mike, who we know wouldn't talk, he couldn't really do that because of the history. I don't think Mike would really be able to get near Hector that close, you know? Well, that's good. He's not wearing his uh, space blanket anymore. Brown wood, black mat. You got this, buddy? Oh no. Is he gonna have a freak out in the grocery store? <laughs> of course, it's way down there. Gray floor. This might be too much, Chuck. Too much too soon. Yeah. Uh oh. There she is, Francesca. All set? Yeah. <laughs> What's is Jimmy playing Bridge Over Troubled Water? That's what it's called, right? Okay. Hey. Bow, bow. New guitar. Oh, Check from the out. guitar place. 
I sold the rest of my ads. You don't have to push yourself like this. Take some time. Plan your next move. Meaning? I could cover our expenses for a while. Could Kimmy get the cash in your hand? Yeah, I know. So what are we talking about? All I'm saying is, I looked at the numbers and I can't. I was going to say, us. could Jimmy help her with that um, Texas case? Or is he not allowed to do any, like, help with any cases at all? Billy Gatwood on the phone for me. Will do. Thanks. She going to take it on then? Because I feel like Jimmy could help just go through everything and help with ideas. So he's doing something, but she would obviously do all the legal Hi, Wexler. stuff. I think I may have a solution to your problem myself. Do you think you have some time this week? We could sit down and talk. Chuck Howard, what a nice surprise. Oh, he got his groceries. Are those groceries? They are. <laughs> I decided to go for the little walk. That's great, Chuck. <laughs> I'm really, really nervous for Nacho. Really nervous. <laughs> I don't want him to get hurt. And I'm scared he will, because he's not in Breaking Bad. What the hell is that? The AC? Oh, yeah, AC. Okay. <laughs> hey, you're sweating your ass off. <laughs> oh, there's that guy again. Oh, here's your chance. Oh, but you have somebody watching you. Oh, no, is it fake? What? This one looks funny. Bring it here. Oh no. Oh no. He just wants to stay it close. Okay. He's gonna do it now? Is he gonna do it now? When he's right she's there? Okay. What about the cook? No, he's fine. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, don't need to. No, why can't you do it when he's gone? Like in the bathroom or something. What if the cook sees him? Did he replace them or did he just... Oh no, they're right there. He's doing it. Oh no. Don't put him back. Oh God. Why is he doing it in front of everybody? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I guess maybe this is just his only chance to do it. I don't know. This is so dangerous. Is he going to hear the pills being poured in? Oh my God. Oh my god. <sighs> now he has to put him back. Oh my god, I'd be shitting my pants. Don't act more espresso. Oh my god, if he drops those, he's f fucked. <sighs> Did he notice? Practice makes perfect, I guess, but I'm worried that Cook might have seen him. Oh my god. Oh, back to that good old community service. Now remember, don't get on your phone, Jimmy. Don't get on your phone. This is my 
kid. Her mom just called. You're She's in the hospital. Please, can I go? Sure, you can go. But you're not getting credit. I have to get my hours done this week. Sounds like that's on you. That sucks. Hey, buddy, you want to get out of here? How much is it worth to you? What? 700 bucks and you're gone. No, I don't have 700 bucks. Hey, you got a couple grand in your sock. <laughs> I, you can do what you got to do. What? How is he going to get him out? Resting. Uh, hurt my back. Get up. <laughs> nope. <hurt> my back. <laughs> you knowingly prevented him from visiting his child in the hospital. If that isn't intentional infliction of emotional distress, what is? Yep. Full of shit. The waiver clearly oh, that stayed. That waiver's gonna make Swiss cheese look solid. And in a personal lawsuit, it's a fart in the wind. <laughs> A fart in the wind. Look, the judge and I will gladly spend the next five years in the courtroom, but for you, it's expensive. It's very, very expensive. It's <laughs> fine. Asshole. <laughs> hey, man. Put some shit on my shit right there. Nah, just a lawyer. <laughs> just slipping Jimmy. That's 700. I don't know a spent. Or more like Saul. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh. I've got a problem I think you can help me with. I've got cash I can't spend. If anything happens to me, my family will Stop never see it. Us. Perhaps there is a way. One with a degree more difficulty. Would 20% overcome this difficulty? <laughs> I would not take money from your family. He doesn't need your money. He wants your, you to work for him. Alrighty, my friends, that was the end of that episode. Really good episode. I feel like I say that every time, but it is. <laughs> I'm, Better Call Saul never disappoints. I mean, to me, it never disappoints. I don't know, like I've heard some people say they think that this show is boring or like they don't watch it because they think it's gonna be boring. Y'all are nuts. Like, I don't, I don't know how anybody can not enjoy this show. I mean, I guess different strokes for different folks. That's a saying, right? Kind of whatever. Anyway, but um, I definitely feel like if you watched Breaking Bad and you enjoyed Breaking Bad, you would also enjoy Better Call Saul. And even if you didn't watch Breaking Bad, I feel like you could watch Better Call Saul and still enjoy it, just in a different way. So I have heard some people, like my friend, one of my friends, uh, actually, <laughs> I asked her if she had seen Breaking Bad. And she said she tried to watch it. She tried to watch it, but she ended up not watching it because you know there was like too much drug use and just too much like too much drugs in it for her i get that like even though you know it didn't really bother me i get how it can bother some people you know which honestly is too bad because they're missing such an amazing show but i feel like if that's kind of the issue for people with breaking bad they should watch better call saul because it's still the same amazing writing from amazing people and but there's really not a lot of drug use in this show at least not yet 
and I'm thinking maybe there's not going to be much in this show. Um, but anyway, I love it. I love it. I was terrified when Nacho was doing his switch, his switcheroo. I was terrified. I, I still don't understand why he did it, but where he did it. Is it because that was his only choice? Like, he's not, there's never a point where Hector leaves and like goes to the bathroom and leaves his jacket there? Or maybe he does, but he didn't know if he was going to go to the bathroom that day or something like that. So he just had to do it when he knew he would have the jacket with him and he had his jacket off, which I guess makes sense, but he was like doing it in front of the cook. Like if that cook had just glanced up at him and started watching him, Nacho wouldn't have even noticed. And that cook would have seen everything. And as far as I know, he might have seen everything because they didn't show it. Now, the question is, if he did, would he say anything? I don't know. But, God, that was terrifying. I'm glad he, he got it done. But that just kind of further proves my theory that Nacho is the one who got Hector in, in the wheelchair. Which is really cool. <laughs> the whole time I thought it was Gus, you know, from Breaking Bad. I mean, maybe it could still be. We don't know yet if he's going to, if his plan is going to work. Yes, he made the switch, but is it, you know, is, is Hector going to fall for it? I'm kind of worried though, because when he put the pills in and then he walked to get him more cappuccino or whatever, espresso, the camera like panned to Hector's face. And I don't know if they just did that to like throw us off to make it seem like he knew what was going on the whole time, or if he actually kind of figured it out when Nacho like, you know, kind of threw the pills in. He was kind of like, oh, that guy was messing with my pills. I don't know. Or maybe he didn't know anything and they're just trying to throw, throw us off. But like the pan, the pan to his face, I was like, this is not good. That can't be good, right? Anyway, but yeah, very, very great, amazing episode. I am quite enjoying it. Uh, I do like how Chuck is forcing himself, I guess, he's forcing himself to get over his mental illness, his um, condition, and I don't know if it'll stick. I don't know if he's ever going to completely get over it. But like I said during the show, um, I don't really, even though I don't like Chuck a lot of the time because of how he treats Jimmy, I understand why he does what he does sometimes to a point. And I don't really wish any ill will on Chuck, you know? Like, I don't think Chuck's a bad guy. I just think him and Jimmy have a very, very, complicated relationship um, and it goes deep the mistrust the resentment everything it just goes deep and you know that saying hurt people hurt people it's true a lot of hurt people hurt people so I don't think he's a bad guy so I don't wish any ill will on him I hope he gets over his condition what I do wonder though, is that if he does get over his condition, where, what is his story going to be moving forward in the Better Call Saul universe? So that'll be interesting. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and uh, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you. If you are subscribed to me on YouTube, thank you so much, my friends. I really appreciate you. If you are over on Patreon, thank you so much, my patrons. I really appreciate your support. You know, it means the world to me. Um, I obviously do not get paid for doing this. <laughs> I don't get paid for doing these videos and, you know, making these videos and editing and all that. Like, I, I don't get paid. It's just a hobby. Um, and I love doing it. Don't get me wrong, but it takes a lot of time. 
And you know, I do have <laughs> my actual job and I do have kids. So um, I just appreciate all the support y'all can give me. Um, so if you're able to, if you're able to support me over on Patreon, it would really, really help me out. And um, I would appreciate it very much. If you're not able to, I totally understand that. Um, please just make sure you're subscribed over here on YouTube so, to support me. And, um, you know, that helps me as well. So thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye friends.